Wagwan people, what are you saying? It is I, Diligent Fingers, and welcome to the Viewpoint Reacts. <laughs> um, I've been wanting to do reaction videos for ages, do you know what I mean? For absolutely ages, really and truly. <clears throat> and that. Um, and now that I've got a decent enough setup to be able to do it and I can actually hear the videos when I'm actually like you know watching them and as well as reacting to them along with you guys um, and stuff like that I thought I might as well start um, whilst I'm gearing up everything to bring back the forward motion podcast um, which is from now on it's going to be direct you know streamed live right here on my YouTube channel um, so make sure you subscribe <laughs> so you don't miss out um, on when the shows are going to be as well as when I um, I do more of these um, reaction videos um, but yeah to start off with um, because there's a lot of things that I do want to give my opinion on um, and things like that to start off with I was going I'm going to react to um, a fresh and fit super fan or stan as it were um, basically trying to defend himself in regards to sending a woman a horrible like private message when she did n absolutely nothing to her do you know what i mean i want to see i want to use this as an example of when parasocial relationships go too far when standing for someone when being loyal to someone that doesn't even know you goes way too far now you've probably heard about the whole um the whole scandal that's been going on between Abba and Preach and Fresh and Fit. Um, I've already done um, an initial, do you know what I mean, opinion sort of reaction video to everything that was going on just as it was starting to die down. Um, more stuff's coming out about it and it's getting a bit ridiculous really and truly. But, you know, I, I definitely wanted to come back to this video because I've watched this already. Um, do you know what I mean? But I wanted, definitely wanted to come back and give my opinion on this video because uh, it was some very key things that, do you know what I mean, I picked up on that I wanted to talk about as well as just the overall point that I made before in terms of when loyalty to someone you don't know goes too far, when putting somebody on a pedestal goes too far, when standing and being a super fan goes completely too far to the point where you're just going to deny your own ignorance, your, um, your own dignity and defeat your own point that you're actually trying to make and stuff like that. So without further ado, now that I've got the actual setup to be able to do it in that do you know what i mean i'll just make sure that the video is going to be turned up i've got everything pre-planned so then do you know what i mean we can truly get into this and i can react in real time to the actual video the video in question i'm sorry if you heard me slurping then but the video in question is it's okay to dox and insult women fresh and fit super fan it's weird it's a conversation between Duke and Don. I think it's Don from Duke and Don, um, as well as an, uh, a gentleman called 360 Blessings, who was the one who sent out the actual message um, and stuff like that. So, quick smoke break. Don't smoke, kids. It's not cool. I'm, you know, I'm an adult and stupid and don't know what's good for my health. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hold up, let me see if we get Abba on here. I see Abba on there. Let's see if we can get him on there. I know he's already saying. So Abba was actually watching the whole live stream between Duke and Don and 360 Blessings. The video is actually um, about an hour long. I'll post the link in the description so then you can go back and watch the full video um, itself and you can get the full story of um, this situation right here. But as as they're going talking about the actual situation, Abba from Abba and Preach was actually watching and he decided to actually call in and join in with the situation. And what Abba says and the things that he picks up, he picks up on and the principles that you can tell that he holds himself by, I think it's something that, you know, it, that a lot of people can learn from, especially in this day and age where it's it's getting a bit crazy. Do you know what I mean? 
fish, nigga. Hey, love you though, bro. Abba, you. can you hear me? Well, I can hear you. Welcome to the stream, man. Appreciate right. you coming on. I what do you have to say to uh, 360 Blessings over here regarding the post and everything? Hey, I'm yo, no man. Hey, 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 yo, man. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not yelling at you. You're good, all right? So it's not going to be hostile, okay? <laughs> all good, bro. All right? I'm not coming at you like that, all right? So we're just having a discussion. I'm not, I'm not going to go wild on you because we just. I do hope it's loud enough. And I'm made, trying to make sure that it is loud enough. And in my headphones, I can hear a little bit of like a whining noise. So I hope that's not too distracting for everybody. Cool. Hey, bro, before we start, bro, I'm a fan, bro. Shout out to you. Thank you, I, bro. Uh, being I respect on the it. I respect it. The reason why I wanted to talk to you was not so I could come here and flame you. That's not how I feel, right? Cool. You guys can see me? Yeah, we can see you live, right. nice and clear. You guys don't have to forgive me. I'm on vacation right now, so uh, the setup is not great. But uh, I figured I would just come on here because I thought it'd be cool to talk and, uh, you know, have a good conversation in regards to this stuff because I, I appreciate the young blood and I know we have a difference of opinions around this, but we'll talk, all right? And we'll try to keep everything calm. Cool? Yep. All right. And that's something that, like, I always try to sort of practice myself, like, laying down what this thing is, like... Just because we have a difference of, of opinion and we don't agree on certain things doesn't mean that every time we talk about it, it's an argument. It may become a bit of a debate, and the debate is healthy. Do you know what I mean? Because if you have opinions and they're strong opinions, obviously you want to, want to get them out. But it doesn't always... Well, it never really needs to get to the point of insulting each other, shouting each other and things like that. Do you know what I mean? But that's just the basics, you know? That's just the basics. <laughs> Alright, so, so uh, question, what, what are some of the disagreements that you had with how we handle things in general, uh, Mr. Blessings? Uh, you could just call me 360, sir. Let me let me let me let me just ask one question, hmm. 360, real quick, hmm. right? While 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 everyone's here. Now, going back to that message you sent, like to Anna Quinn Fitness. Now, you what do you have to say in terms of like, I'm is it something sorry. that's not why not? So you know, you thought that was appropriate no, then? I'm not sorry, and this is the reason why that that podcast changed my life. It's done shit. I would not be, bro. You guys just want to hate. Look, I'm not. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about the people on the um the the, the subscribers and viewers. They just want to hate. These dudes have changed my life. I was able to set up, get my credit score, rise that up, b buy a truck, do all this, all this other stuff, bro. Like, okay. What, Okay. And this is the first thing that I always like pick up on. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like when when you are getting into a conversation, maybe a heated conversation, maybe a debate with somebody, when it gets to the point where they're like stuttering and do you know what I mean, they can't remember all the significant things that this you know, influencer or whatever is supposed to have done for them. Do you know what I mean? Like they end up just being little things that really and truly, like, this man could have done for himself. He did not need an influencer to help him get a good credit score or anything like that. Sometimes getting the right information depends on how it's packaged. Do you know what I mean? And things like that, things like that you know, the, the the saying where sometimes it's, e uh, it's easier and better to catch flies with honey rather than with vinegar. Do you know what I mean? But sometimes it can be the right time to use vinegar. Do you know what I mean? Let me ask you. Let me let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Oh, yeah, because this is interesting. You said you won't say anything about that because these guys improved your life. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so you gonna ride with them no matter what because they helped you out? I'm loyal, Apple. I mean, yeah. I'm. I'm a so very. What happens tomorrow if you find out they're touching kids? You still bro, like, That's different. Come on, bro. Okay. That's okay. Okay. No, I, I just want to understand. So there is a line for you where you stop supporting them, correct? Bro, it's, it's reasonable, bro. Okay, I, 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 that's another thing that I've started picking up on when, like, you ask a simple question, do you know what I mean? And rather than saying yes or no, they try and, like, divert the conversation to somewhere else. Like, instead of it being, do you know what I mean, yes or no, is that right? Or, or would you support that? Do you know what I mean? It should be just a simple yes or no. But it's like, oh, well, you know, that's reasonable. As if insulting and doxing a woman isn't. Do you know what I mean? It, like, is it a reasonable to stop supporting somebody for? Do you know what I mean? Oh, no, because you're not saying you're 100% loyal no matter what. You're saying, as long as these guys don't go too crazy, I'm willing to accept the fact that they do some fucked up shit. Well, nothing's right? perfect, bro. Nothing's perfect. Come on. Right. <laughs> when you're talking to people, 
and you're trying to have like a constructive conversation or a debate do you know what i mean and people tend to use things that we already know we already know that nothing is perfect we already know that the world isn't perfect we already know that everybody isn't perfect doesn't mean that there isn't things that can't be pointed out corrected do you know what i mean and adjusted do you know what I'm saying? And that, like, just because the world isn't perfect doesn't mean that everything has to stay imperfect. Do you know what I mean? We can still walk, work towards getting some sort of, like, healthy level for everybody. Do you know what I mean? Because no one can really say that they're happy, do you know what I mean, with how the world is, how the dating world is, the relationship between men and women, gay, straight, non-binary, do you know what I mean? Like, no one can really say that we're in a good place right now. Things have definitely improved, do you know what I mean? But things can still definitely get better. So when you're having a conversation and people come out with, well, nothing's perfect, you know, nobody's perfect, duh, 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 duh. it's like, that's not a healthy, that's not even a valid argument because it's something that everybody knows and everybody understands. Do you know what I mean? And that's where you start to see like, okay, this person might not have a strong enough argument or may not even really believe that much in what they're actually saying yet they're saying that they're loyal to a podcast they're loyal to the people that run this podcast they're loyal to fresh and fit you know so how far is that loyalty going to go come on man i don't disagree i don't disagree now let me ask you this okay do you think it's fair that these guys put out her ig and her full name on that podcast for Mm -hmm. everyone to go and harass her What's her Instagram again? It's, it goes something like Anna Quinn Fitness. Oh, there she's you go. Uh, Anna oh, Quinn Fitness. Y'all want to roast uh, her? I don't care. No, <laughs> I, I, oh. If y'all want to roast her, I don't care. I thought oh, women wanted, wanted honesty. Yeah, I thought women wanted right, the truth like, yeah. from up front. I was like, I was like, we're gonna smash. And she didn't like that. She tried to be like, oh well, that's your asshole move. Okay, you want me to lie to you and then like try to be on this like other I've bullshit? Seen this girl. See, things like this is like so disingenuous. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, I was out of order. Do you know what I mean? You were out of order. Well, I, you know, at least I was honest whilst I was being out of order. Oh, you know, I mean, you can't hold that against me. Like, it's such a disingenuous argument. Do you know what I mean? Like to use when you'd be disrespectful to somebody for no reason. Do you know what I mean? For whatever it is, whether it's trying to get into a woman's knickers, like you're trying to smash or whatever, whether it's dating or whatever, when you're rude and disrespectful, like your honesty means nothing. Do you know what I mean? Because no one's going to appreciate your honesty when you're being insulting and disrespectful, you know? You probably yeah. should have finessed her. If you would have finessed her, you've been good. Someone put her na- her Instagram in the chat. I'm, Can we see her Instagram real quick? It might have been me. Oh, oh damn. Oh, you want to pull it up? See, like, ah, see this fresh guy, like, uh, I've been finding out more and more about this fresh guy. Do you know what I mean? And and this guy is the biggest liar like I have ever seen. Like I saw one video when he was trying to do the gold digger prank. Do you know what I mean? I might put a clip of it up somewhere in here. Do you know what I mean? So you can see a bit of it. But he was trying to do the gold digger prank, and it was where it wasn't even working for him. Like he's got his Lamborghini, and he's just sat on his Lamborghini in the middle of this, uh, in the middle of a clear street where hardly anybody's walking down. Do you know what I mean? And like that's supposed to entice people in to make you like determine whether they're a gold digger or not. Like it, uh, it just made no sense. But this is what he's trying to use to entice like young men do you know what i mean into his program like his like you know dating game dating guru program like and health and fitness like sort of program or master class or whatever it is i heard it like he charges two thousand pounds per person to like join the class or whatever like if anyone's paying this money just understand that it's gonna you're gonna be pissing it up the wall do you know what i mean like wow and that's such a bitch move as well like okay you didn't even have the interaction like fresh didn't even have the interaction with this woman but it's like oh because i want to support my friend i'm gonna put her in Instagram handle and name in the chat so people can go and like just like come on man
to a privacy complaint. Damn it. Oh, well. We live. We do it live, baby. We live, man. <laughs> Real nigga time. All right. He got spared by YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you think it's fair that these guys put out her IG and her full name on that podcast for everyone to go and harass her? Bruh, bruh, her name, bruh, every, you don't have to, you could type her name into Instagram, you'll see it pop up, well, bro. I, I don't disagree, but listen, they had a private conversation in the DMs, right? And then oh, he said, and then he went to his own podcast, talked about this situation, misrepresented it a little bit, and then put it out for his fans, and he put the link to it to his fans and said, y'all can go talk to her if you want. Do you think that's okay to do? Look, bro, I, I I can't I can't really delve into that situation, bro. Of well, course not, you can, bro, brother. Stick. You DM'd her yourself. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And that this is job stopped it just so then you guys can read what he put. Do you know what I mean? You lot can read what he actually like sent to this woman. Do you know what I'm saying? And that like dumb bimbo Myron preaches fact and logic, suck his or shut up fucked like. Really? Like, these guys don't even know who this man is. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He just watches the podcast. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah, he may have learned some things from them. Do you know what I mean? But to go this far to insult a woman that he doesn't even know that did nothing to her, to him, sorry. Do you know what I mean? Just for the sake of, like, defending someone that you don't even know. It's just some, just someone on the internet that you happen to follow. Like, this is crazy. Like, but this is how crazy parasocial relationships can get. Like, I don't want anyone who's following me to ever do anything like this. It's not what, it's not going to be a, a true representation of who I am as a person. And he can't truly believe that that's what, that's what fresh and fit actually want him to do his well i don't know they did put the, put the link do you know what i mean in the description but at that point self account accountability for yourself has to come into play okay if i'm why am i doing this do you know what i mean like are they even gonna see this like and that's what this is where clout chasing really gets like ridiculous because i wonder if he actually took the screenshot i took a screenshot himself and then sent it to Fresh and Fit, do you know what I mean, as if, like, they're gonna be so impressed that some random guy, do you know what I mean, has got involved in an argument that, like, it's crazy, it's crazy, like, is, does he think he's gonna get, like, brownie points, maybe brought up on the show, do you know what I mean, just for the sake of doing, like, people need to calm down with this clout chasing, man, like, for real, for real. <laughs> Yeah, bro, because I know what that podcast means. It's done so much for my life. But that's like, not my point. So that means insulting a woman is justified because a podcast has done so much for your life. Do you know what I mean? Like, because you're now happy, that means you can be shitty to other people for no reason. Crazy. That's not my point. Do you understand that there's something unethical? about taking a person's name and their thing and sending it to your fans so they can go harass the person? That is 100% unethical. I can't lie about that. So why get involved then? This is where the cognitive dissonance comes into play. If you can agree that a point is unethical, why engage in it like he, he like it's like it's like 360 blessings doesn't realize that abba is actually talking to him like referencing what he has done it's almost as if like like there's a switch in his brain where he takes himself out of the situation do you know what i mean at some points like it's it's crazy it's crazy the way trying to figure out this young man's like thought process behind all of this and how he's able to really stand on what he's actually done like it's a bit mad it's a bit mad and that's why sometimes i call it mental gymnastics because you have to make your brain go go through so many loops just to get to the point of like somehow logic that some of these people are trying to hold you know right and i'm saying and you participate in that don't you see how that reflects poorly on you as well 
It doesn't. You went and you sent her a foul message. How does it not be reflect poorly on him when he sent the message? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, but it's interesting, like, the justification that he's going to use in a second. Message, my friend. It does, I did because I had to, bro. I had to defend you had to send her a foul message. <laughs> hey, bro, I, look, look, okay, let's take it your way, right? If I said, Hey, hey, Anna Quinn, I don't like what you did. This podcast is way more than just you, it could teach men so much more. So, going from a situation, yeah. Where if you've been following, because Anna Quinn actually came out with her own video explaining her sides from the third side from the DMs, and and apparently, like she didn't contact him, he contacted her. Do you know what I'm saying? And she's an attractive woman. They're all about being able to mack and this, that, and the other, and ta 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 ta. Do you know what I'm saying? So I can actually believe that, like, you know, he would have tried. They fresh and fit would have tried to have chirped her and a Quinn. Do you know what I mean? And use their whole, do you know, well, well. Would I have gotten a response? Would I have been here? Would I have been able to tell these people about how much this broadcast Bro, is and you, you, how you, 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 On the back of, so you want to, you want to use insulting a woman that you don't know as a springboard to tell people about the podcast that you're trying to defend in the completely wrong way do you know what I mean? How much it has done for you. Like, you could have just made your own video on your own YouTube channel. Do you know what I mean? Explaining it all. Sent it to Fresh and Fit. And they probably would have, like, been like, oh, my God. Thanks for that. Like, here's a testimony of someone who we've actually helped. And they've gone away. And they've gone ahead and actually made their own video. Without, after, like, piggyback off the sort of, like, 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 um the abuse the online abuse of someone that they don't know it makes no sense but it's clout chasing it's complete and utter clout chasing and that do you know what i mean because there's an update afterwards that i'll tell you about when all of this is done you're moving you're moving backwards bro i want you to think about this okay earlier you said something that was interesting well, i thought it was kind of crazy but it was interesting you said i can never pay your box Imagine what your mom would say. Hell no, bro. Ma imagine if you told your mama you paid for pussy, nigga. Okay. Imagine what your mom would find out and think if she found out that you were DMing women foul things because you're very loyal to a friend. Do you I mean, think that's a good like, look? Do you think that's a good look for your crazy, character? Huh? She know I'm kind of crazy, bro. Like, I'll, I have to do what I got to do. Like, some people... So, because your mom knows you're kind of crazy... You think that she's going to be okay with this. And two, that, that also means that you just have to do what you've got to do. Like, he's talking as if someone put a gun to the back of his head and told him to type those words to a woman that he does not know. It's crazy. People are just like that. We're not all the same. Look, if, if I... People are just like that. We're not all the same. Like, let me take that back. Like, like actually, no. Actually, no. But he's just said people... Oh man! I would have done what you guys would have done. Hey, this world would be boring if we were all the same. There's some extreme personalities and characters like myself. There's some calmer people like you and your buddy Preach and Duke and Don. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you went to a woman you don't know to say foul things to her. Hold up! Hold up! You can single me out. You don't know to say all the time, guys. You can single me out, but this stuff happens all the time. Where is the accountability? So, because everybody else talks to women like shit, that means it's okay for him to talk to women like shit. Like, how does this make sense? How does this make sense? And he's supposed to be part, like, he looks up to this supposed manosphere. Do you know what I mean? That, like, a lot of these men are sort of preaching this idea based off of, like, personal relationships that they've been in and stuff that they've seen the wider social so, social media scope talk about do you know what i mean which is not representative of the lower middle class and um the lower middle class and the mid, um, lower class and the working class 
because not we're not on those we're not top youtubers everybody is a top youtuber that lives in miami do you know what i mean and is surrounded by beautiful girls that are all looking for clout so therefore they have to move with clout in order to get these girls but then they don't want these girls because they know that they're looking these girls are only looking for clout and not really looking for them like it's so backwards the whole thing but then that's this is the reference point that they're using to spout like stuff against women do you know what I mean? And say women are playing the game and this, that, and the other. Do you know what I mean? When ninety, the, like eighty percent of the world's population is not even in. Do you know what I mean? That twenty percent that everybody is fighting to try and get into. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like it's like it's like queuing up outside an exclusive club that all the top celebrities are in. Do you know what I'm saying? And that, and you know, you can't get in because it's a million pound a ticket. But you some for some reason you want advice from the people that are in there about how to live your life outside of this exclusive club. When all they are, they do is spend time in the exclusive club, spending a million pound a ticket, drinking champagne. Like, how does that make sense? You know yourself you will never be in that club, but yet you want the people that are in that club all the time to give you advice on life. So would it be fine? So let me ask you then. In that case, this is all just entertainment and fun. Should I go to my 101.4 million people, take your name, your image, and then tell them, go tell them what you think? Do you think that would be ethical? Look, bro, I'm a nobody. If you want to go and do it, you could do it, bro. I just got me a couple trucks, and I mean one truck, and I'm going to have me another one, bro. I'm nobody, bro. You know what I'm saying? You could go and do it, but it ain't going to affect me, bro. Right, and this is this is the other thing that I wanted to point out. So we said I'm a nobody. If people want to want to come and harass me, it doesn't matter because I'm a nobody. So when you're a nobody, it's all it's okay. It's 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 not going to be it's not going to be effective because you're a nobody. But when somebody is a, a somebody, it's okay to abuse them, to on cyber bully them basically because they're somebody and I'm not. So they deserve the abuse. I don't. I don't. And it's going to be water off a duck's back because I'm a nobody. But the, that somebody deserves the abuse because they're somebody and I'm not. That's literally what he's just said. Literally. Yet he wants to present himself as some sort of alpha. Do you know what I mean? He thinks that this is alpha behavior because fresh and fit present themselves as alphas. Yet they act nothing, look nothing like alphas, and this feeds into a greater problem of you know what I mean, society at the moment, where because every again, like you said, because everybody is abusing celebrities and stuff like that because they're up there and we're down here. It's like it's fine. It's like common practice. It's almost second nature to a point. Even though these celebrities are human too and they have their own problems, their own demons, their own lives that they're trying to live through. But because they've got money, they deserve to get more abuse than normal because the money will solve the pro solve the problems for them. That's such a that's such that's such a broke mentality because the problems that you're having as a broke person as or as a person with low income they're never even going to be thinking about because they're not broke so you feeling resentful do you know what i mean and trying to get at the people that have worked hard to get to where they are or they have family members that have worked hard to get to where they are because if someone's born into money, they can't help being born into money. They are literally born into money. They don't have a choice. But because you're not where they are, you think that gives you license to abuse them. Think about that for a second. And then think about how widespread this problem is. You know what? If, 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 if you're the kind of man, if, 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 if fresh and fit is breeding you into this kind of man, 
I think 100. percent This I is always too up. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm gonna say this because you're saying out of loyalty to them, you're gonna go see foul things to strengthen. Look, it's, I'm, I'm not. Real to, I don't look, think you realize how Abba, crazy. Abba, this is like. what you're not getting. I'm talking about the podcast. I don't care about fresh and fit. Material. I care about the material. You're feeding into the person. You see how he tries to disconnect? It's like he's not even there. It's like he's not even listened to what has just been said and heard the own words that have come out as hit come out of his own mouth. Like, how does this make sense in his mind? Really and truly. Mental gymnastics, man. Mental gymnastics. How how at this point can he disconnect himself or the people that made the podcast, sorry? How can he disconnect the people that made the podcast, that so-called, that the same podcast that helped his life so much? How can he disconnect those two men from the podcast? How can he do that? Like, they told him the information. They created the podcast. Do you know what I mean? It's like me saying, I even though I've made this React video, it's like me saying, you can't take take it as me saying these words. It's the podcast that I said it. Like, it's like I'm just a vessel. Like, I didn't think of what I'm saying right now. Somebody else thought of it telepathically. So don't hold me responsible for what I've what I've just said. Like, <sighs> that's not what I care, bro. This is sad. And one day, I promise you, bro, you're gonna look back on this moment and realize that you sending that DM and then you coming on this podcast afterwards to defend that shit is crazy. You also need to have some accountability for what you did, brother. Nobody made I you go do that. Good. You did, and you owe that woman an apology because what she said was fucking foul. facts. Just, just after big facts. Big, 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 big facts. Big, 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 big facts. Do you know what I mean? That, but it gets better. It gets worse, but it gets better because it shows how much of a lack of character this person, a lack of integrity, this 360 blessings actually has. After all that, like, what do you, what do you got to say, man? No apology whatsoever. Hell nah, bro. I, I stand on my word, bro. I ain't no bitch. The fuck. All if right. Any, all hey, right. look. If anything come with it, I'ma take it, bro. I'm Ebo. I'm built different. I'm loyal. I stand my ground. If you want to say something in my DMs, it's still the same one. It's on public. You could leave a comment. You could do what you want. He's just said it. He's just said it. But guess what? Guess what happens afterwards? Yeah. I'll try and find it if I can. Um, but basically, um, Abra had left a comment on this video or maybe on another video that I, can't, I just can't remember at the moment where 360 Blessings actually messaged, got in touch with Abra and Preach um, and asked him to take the video down because he was worried about what his what his family would think if they saw the video. Even though he's just said that he ain't no bitch and he stands on his word. Okay, if you stand on your word, then you can you can't be bothered about when your family see it and what they are going to think. You should be able to defend that shit in a way that they can understand, so they will back you. If you know you can't do that, do you know what I mean? What was it worth going on that stream, trying to defend that shit? Do you know what I mean? With no actual valid arguments, if you're just gonna bitch out at the end. Like fresh and fit did. Oh yeah, I'll box. Both of them saying yeah, I'll box. Both of you. Duh, 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 duh. When it comes to it, and preach is gonna be in be in the country the next week. Both of them bitch out. They want to apologize. They want to take accountability and this, that, and the other. And then even even since then, so much more stuff has been coming out. Anna Quinn has talked about her story from her DMs that were exposed and stuff like that, which led to this guy sending the DM that he did to Anna Quinn. Do you know what I mean? And that like it's crazy. It's crazy. And this is why you have to be be careful ha with how much you look up to these influencers, with how much you really put influencers, YouTubers, people like myself, do you know what I mean? Because I'm a YouTuber, I'm making videos on here as well. You have to be careful with how much you hold us on a pedestal or how much how the lack of accountability that you hold us for do you know what i'm saying 
we have to be called out on our on our own shit we have we have to live by the words that we say we have to carry ourselves with integrity and when we don't our supporters need to hold us to that otherwise we're never going to be accountable for ourselves and it isn't even it shouldn't even be a case that the supporters have to do that if we're not doing it off our own backs it's the basics if I'm not doing it off my own back, checking myself and holding myself accountable, just like these guys didn't, do you know what I mean? Then I need to see what's going wrong. If I'm not doing that for myself before my supporters just say anything to me, then I am being disingenuous and manipulative to my supporters. Straight off. Straight off. And this is why I appreciate people like Abba and Preach, because they are consistent, and their main thing is integrity. Having strong morals, do you know what I mean? And holding themselves accountable and being the best person that they possibly can be. Admitting when they are wrong. Not being a hypocrite, not contradicting themselves unless it's understandable, which comes from ignorance and a lack of knowledge, do you know what I mean? And things like that. Because sometimes it can be understandable when someone is wrong. Because if they don't know, then they just don't know. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But you have to have integrity. Like I said in the last Fresh and Fit video, the last uh, the Viewpoint podcast. Like, you have to have integrity, you know? So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that, really and truly. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, how, what is your, what is your take been on this whole experience, really and truly? Do you know what I mean? Because I want to, I want to still have conversations like this about the wider scope of things. And I think these things are like a great way to start these conversations. Do you know what I mean? Within this community that I'm trying to build, you know? And that, but also, in terms of the Viewpoint podcast, the podcast itself is going to be on hold whilst, whilst it has um, a bit of a rebranding um, and things like that. So, you know, the Viewpoint um, is going to be doing, it's going to be more reaction videos um, and things like that from here on in. And, that, and let me know if you do like this 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 format, this style, really and truly. Um, and if you do like this video, give it a like, please. Like, I'm trying to get to get up to 1,000 subscribers um, so I can be more interactive with my community because I can get that community tab as soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers. Plus, every time I do one of these videos, you'll be notified of that. Um, so please subscribe um, as well. And that, do you know what I mean? So you can hit the bell. So then, you know, you'll be a... Uh, You'll uh, be up to date with every time I do one of these React videos. Um, the Forward Motion podcast, that's going to be coming back um, next month. I'm not sure what date yet because I'm still getting things ready. Same with the Viewpoint podcast. But also, there's going to be a lot of music coming from myself that's going to be released on Spinal Records as well as coming from other labels um, that's out there. So any support at all would be absolutely amazing. I've set up a Patreon as well, um, just so that if people want to go the extra mile, do you know what I mean? Because watching these videos is great. Liking the video is amazing. Subscribing the, um, to, the, to the channel is phenomenal. But going that extra mile and, you know, supporting me on Patreon... Like that's that's literally life changing and means the world to me because it shows that people like believe in what I'm doing and that. So if you want to support me in in any way, there's all of the ways that you can do that. I'm going to be back very soon with another React video and hopefully a lot more high quality content or better quality content. But with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing week. Take it easy. Look after yourself. Look after your mental health. Mental health is wealth. And as always, blessings to you all.